coming. Let's keep the theme going here. Childproofing your home is essential if you have kids or grandkids. If you've been through this, you know. Here with some tips for making your home safer is Andy Crouppen of Brown and Crouppen and the newest member of the legal firm. That would be newborn baby Ruby. Are you kidding me? Good morning. Look at that face. Tiny face. Where she obviously got the looks from mom. That's all. Exactly. I'm say. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. waiting right off camera just in case. But I think Ruby's doing pretty good so far. Yeah. Yeah. Now you see at this age, you don't even really. I mean, you start. You're in the mindset of baby proofing. But Ruby's not going to crawl around and try to stick her finger in an outlet or reach for the comet under the sink. Not yet. Not those yet. Those days are coming. But as everyone tells me, it happens in an instant <laughs> and she'll true. be crawling. So, you know, I, I think the best way to think about it is to get in the mindset of the child that's going to be crawling around, you know, potentially hurting themselves. So the best way to do that, get down on the ground, mm -hmm. <clears throat> sit Indian style on the ground, and now you sort of have their perspective. And anything you see around your house at eye level, you know, maybe some knickknacks you have on a low shelf that may yep. be sharp or fragile, or or um, cabinets under the counter, under the kitchen ca counter that they can get to. You know, that's where you want to start looking. Maybe then get on your knees, and now you kind of have the perspective of a five or six year old. You know, for later years, so yep. you make sure you know what you're hiding from them and where you know kind of that level they can't reach is. So once that line is drawn in your mind. Let's put everything above that line. Right? Exactly, that's an important I think first step. That's the first, the easiest way to do it is put things out of reach. You yeah. know, because for many years they can't climb up and get to them. Sure. And when it comes to the really serious stuff, I'm thinking prescription medication. I'm thinking firearms. If you have those in the house, lock it up. Right. Don't just put it up. Lock <clears> it up. You really should. Uh, especially, there's been oddly an increase in prescription death poisonings in the last. Mm. You know, several years. I don't know why, but that's really important. Lock those up. The firearms, the reason firearms can be, you know, other than the obvious reasons, the reasons they're so dangerous for toddlers is kids often don't have the strength in their um, index finger to pull the trigger. So what happens is they turn it around to face them and use oh their no. thumb to do oh it. So gosh. lock your firearms up. Ruby's smart. She's reaching for her pacifier. Did you <laughs> notice right. that? She's like, must reach pacifier. Oh, no, my wallet's over there, too. <laughs> Well, welcome to fatherhood of a daughter. Yes, That's I it. totally understand. Uh, there's a lot more, and this stuff is cheaper and more common now. Cleaning products that are not just friendly to the environment, but a little friendlier to the digestive system, if heaven forbid that should happen. Exactly. They're yeah. all toxic, the normal ones you buy. And you can either go to a place like Whole Foods, or the grocery store often sells green products now. Right. You know, there's a lot of information on the internet if you want to just mix up your own, which sounds more intimidating than it is, yep. but apparently it's very easy to mix up your own cleaning products that are safe and, uh, and environmentally friendly as well, and it'll save you a little money too. Yeah, this is your first as mom and dad, bath time comes, and the absolute paramount thing you keep thinking in the back of your mind is, is this water too hot? Is this right. water too hot? We can actually do something at the source, right? At the water heater to try to help. Several with that. things. Yeah. You keep your water heater under 120 degrees. There are also scald guards that can be installed on the faucets themselves to, as sort of a, a second preventative measure. Burns are very serious in young kids. Their skin is much thinner than ours. At uh, three seconds, uh, being exposed to 140 degrees mm. can cause third degree burns and possibly kill a young child in just three seconds. That's tragic. So you, you don't want to leave them unattended and you want to have those safeguards in place as we well. We want to keep them just like that. Just happy like and this. Safe. She is And cute. reaching for our wallet. <laughs> just reaching around That's dad's right. back while he's not watching. Andy, thank you very much. Thank you. If you have a legal question for Brown, Crouppen, and Ruby, the new <laughs> law firm in town. You can email us at greatday at kmov.com. Cutest guest on the show. Not you, Andy. Up next, a live performance.